Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can level a lawn using topsoil. Now, as you can see, the lawn has been completely killed off. I uploaded the video to my channel recently showing how I actually killed this lawn. So there should be a link somewhere on screen now, or you can head over to my channel to check that video out. And the reason why I actually killed this lawn off to begin with was for a couple of different reasons. The first of which is that the lawn was riddled with weed grass. Towards the end of last year and early on in this lawn care season, I did notice a little bit of weed grass, didn't really do a whole lot about it and then the problem just seemed to get out of hand. So by killing it off, it gives me a blank canvas to work with. And the second reason as well, is that I wanna actually improve the soil that we have up here on this lawn. It's quite a clay heavy lawn, and last year when I did the original leveling, I did put a bit of topsoil down, but not a massive amount, not enough to actually really improve the soil that's actually there. So I bought a bag of topsoil, and we're gonna get onto this lawn in a moment. But before we do, we need to get all this dead grass off using the lawnmower. actually ended up with some quite nice dead grass lawn stripes knocking about. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on with the scarifier and actually scarify the lawn. And if you don't know what a scarifier is, uh, basically it's a tool you use to rip out any thatch or any dead matter out of your lawn. Now you might be able to see uh, just from the shot there that the soil layer is quite visible, so there's not a whole lot of thatch there. But what I am gonna use this tool to do today is to rip out as much of the dead grass as I can. <music> Gonna use the basket, not even a point. We'll do one more pass with the scarifier, but this time. I'm gonna go the opposite way across the lawn just to get out as much of that dead grass as possible. So there we go, we've removed most of the old lawn. There's a few little bits of dead grass knocking about, but they're all gonna decompose once we actually get the new soil on top. And this step, you know, it is quite deceiving. It takes much longer than you almost anticipate. I've done quite a few of these projects now, and I always underestimate how long this stage takes, but it is crucial in giving yourself that blank canvas ready to get on with some new soil. So this time I've gone with the roll-on turf and lawn seed and topsoil. The bag cost me around about £120, but you can see 
it's got quite a lot of sand contents but there's a lot of topsoil in there and that's just going to mean that it's going to be nice and easy to spread across the lawn and it's going to be really useful in getting a nice level surface however you don't need to use brands like roll lawn to actually get yourself a half decent lawn i've got videos on my channel where i've leveled a lawn using topsoil from bags which is the western topsoil really good stuff and i've also used topsoil that's been dumped on the driveway which is relatively inexpensive and if you'd like to check out any of those videos the links will be in the description below now the issue i've got now is that this topsoil needs to be taken all the way to the lawn up at the top over there i'm not doing anything mad like putting a ramp up this wall just because you know i don't want to end up damaging the wall or tipping a wheelbarrow over trying to actually like get up to the top of the wall I'm not going to be doing that so instead i'm going with a more cost effective approach which is using a one pound bucket from b and q and i'm just going to take it in bucketfuls up to the top it's going to take ages it's going to be back breaking but it needs to be done so let's go on with the topsoil and then we can start leveling So I'm just using a regular rake just to actually rake the top soil around just to get a bit of a rough level so nothing you know too smooth or too flat and then I'm going to be getting on shortly with a lawn loot to get a really smooth surface. Now a rake like this is going to set you back anywhere from you know 10 to 20 pounds so relatively cheap. You can level your lawn just using this but to get it even smoother a lawn loot you know is the sort of key to that. Now to actually get the surface smooth, I'm using the Lanzi Lawn Loose. Now this will set you back around about £120 on garden imports or on uh, Amazon. But you'll see how easy it is to actually get a nice even surface. So that's not perfect as a level yet. It has been compacted ever so slightly just from the weight of the lawn loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on with the rest of the topsoil. I'll rake it out, I'll level it with the lawn loose as I go, and then I get to compact it at the end, and we can actually get the lawn loose on and get a nice, perfectly level surface. So you can see I've walked over the entire lawn twice now, making sure to dig my heels in. Now, the reason why you've got to do that is you've got to compact the soil. If you put the soil down and rake it out and smooth out the lawn roots, it's going to look good for today. But give it about three, four, five days, even you know a couple of weeks, and the soil is going to begin to settle, and you're going to start to see high spots and low spots. So by compacting it and then getting back on with the rake or the lawn loot, it's helping to spot where the high spots are, where the low spots are, and you can use the lawn loot then to go back over to smooth everything off, and you get a nice even compaction across the lawn. Now this does take a while to do. If you've got a roller which you can fill it with water or sand, it weighs an absolute ton. That you can roll across this and it makes the job a million times more straightforward but i don't have one of those so if you don't have one it's not the end of the world you can walk across dig your heels in obviously if your lawn's a lot bigger it's going to be more taxing uh, in terms of how much energy it's going to consume from yourself uh, but if you take your time get it right it's going to look superb so i'm going to get on again with the lawn loose i'm going to smooth everything back out and then i've got a little bit more soil that i can get out the bag i can start adding an extra layer on smoothing it out so we've got a nice foundation ready for the seed
and there we go the lawn has been leveled now it did take around about two hours to complete the project in total and that's only with this small space so you can imagine if you've got quite a large space it's going to take the best part of a day to really complete something like this the key to getting a project like this done well is just purely to take your time if you try rushing a job like this the rest of the renovation will suffer because your lawn is only going to be as good as the foundation you actually lay before you get started and particularly if you've got a new build property and you're going to be seeding your lawn from scratch doing a project like this is going to go a long way to actually improving the type of soil you have in your lawn so that's been step two of the actual lawn renovation project in the next part i'm going to be explaining exactly how you can seed a lawn from scratch how much seed is essential to get great germination and how you can actually top dress it too so hope you found today's video useful if you have feel free to give it a like and if you'd like to continue watching the rest of this lawn renovation feel free to subscribe and finally thanks for watching